Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chinese Pod. I'm Joy, and I'm Joe. And today we're going to talk about cheng yu. Now, remember, a lot of people might think cheng yu it's really hard and complicated. But the ones we'll talk about are going to be made of simple words that you might have learned before already.、Mm -hmm. And in today's cheng yu, we're going to use the numbers three and four, san and si. Okay. So I. So besides the meaning of three and four, I know that those numbers in Chinese culture have like a more specific meaning, or like there's more to it than only those numbers. But I'm not really sure what it was. Can you explain that to me shortly? Taoism is very important in Chinese culture. It not only affects concepts and ideas, but also the language itself. The numbers three and four represent people or all living things or beings. So the three and four, sun and si, refer to like the realm we are in, basically. So it can refer to people or to anything that we can touch, see that belongs to our realm. Exactly. Okay. okay. So today we're going to be talking about. San and Si in the context of Cheng Yu and specifically in the realm of man or people. Okay, the very first Cheng Yu we have with San and Si is 不三不四 Oh my God! What's wrong? Look at this illegal letter. See, they claim that our product name and website infringes on their trademark. But we have a registered website and a domain name. But did you ever file a trademark? Um, they are actually demanding that we sign over our domain name. Did you know that not having a trademark registration is not only important for the brands and trade names you use for your goods and services, but also for your website? Don't risk losing your domain name and social media pages because of a trademark dispute. The Trademarkers Network of Intellectual Property Attorneys can file your trademark reliably and also give you guidance if someone else before you has filed or registered a trademark with your brand. Go to www.trademarkers.com today to make sure you get the brand protection you deserve. Can you give me an example here? Okay, so if I can say, "He, this person." Okay, like I feel you're warning me. It sounds like you're warning me, and it actually makes sense with that cultural reference from before, because san and si represents men, and then it's not three and not four, so it kind of doesn't belong here. Doesn't belong to this realm or something. So it's like abnormal. Doesn't belong here. So you're warning me of this. Yeah, like abnormal human behavior, or like not like a normal person.、Mm. So it's definitely a warning. So the complete sentence could be, "He's this person, not three, not four. You be careful." He's very dubious. Take care. Yeah, be careful.、Mm -hmm. Or I can also say, "He's a not three, not four person." Ah, okay. So using the cheng yu here as an adjective and then adding "de" to it. Exactly.、Okay. Or I can also say, "Don't teach." 不三不四的朋友 ，What kind of friends do you think I would be talking about? Maybe friends that gossip or something. Yeah, or like maybe they、friends. do drugs or something. Yeah, some bad friends. Don't don't make bad friends. Don't、people、make don't not have, three, not four friends. <laughs> you no, know, they're not, people who don't have normal people behaviors. There's quite a standard there, isn't there, for、yeah. human behavior? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have one more. He often says some. 不三不四的话。Oh, okay. So we can not only use it as an adjective for people, but、mm -hmm. maybe for like, like here it was 话 like like what you say, something that you say. Yeah. Okay. So he's speaking very shady. Yeah. <laughs> maybe shady or like speaking out of turn, irresponsibly,、mm. or talking maybe frivolously, something like that. It's not extremely specific, but you can infer that it's something that's not good.、Mm -hmm. If you have watched our tone change series, you may already know that "bu" is a character that is normally in the fourth tone, but that sometimes changes its tone. So whenever you pair it with a fourth tone together, "bu" becomes "bu." So this is why we have here "bu san" in the original tone, but "bu si" in the changed tone. Okay, 
So the next cheng yu we're going to talk about with san and si is shuo san dao si. Now, shuo and dao both in this case mean to speak of. So if I'm, mm -hmm. if I'm speaking of three and I'm speaking of four, what would you infer that to mean? Speaking of three and four, so three and four can represent everything that we see, right? Yeah. So we speak about everything, like chatting this, chatting that, just everything. I'll talk about everything. And here the connotation is negative because this everything, it's kind of like you're talking about people, talking about things, so you're gossiping. Oh. Or you're sort of speaking irresponsibly, like, okay. oh, this person is this, this. Did you see her, you know, did you see her husband? So, like, literally, I have something to say about everything. Like, oh, talk, 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 talk. Yeah, so referring to some of, somewhat of a negative connotation of what people might say in the realm of man, just mm -hmm. gossiping about things. So I can say, 不要说三道四,这样没礼貌. Oh, it's like a mom teaching her child, like, don't gossip around people or anything. It's bad behavior. It's not polite. Yeah, don't talk behind people's backs. Okay? Or, 他喜欢 说三道四,所以没朋友. Oh, he likes to gossip so he doesn't have any friends. It's definitely a warning too. Yeah. I think a lot of Chinese cheng yu have warnings to it. Okay, and if you were very brave, you could say, 我不怕别人说三道四. Okay, like if I don't care about the gossip you mean, then I don't, I'm not afraid about gossiping people. Yeah, so it's like, don't be the one to gossip, but if someone gossips about you, you can just brush it off. Just ignore. <laughs> the last cheng yu we have is 丢三辣四. 丢 and 辣 both mean to lose, or you, you lost it, you missed it, because okay. it was lost. So it's in structure very similar to the one we had before. We had shuo and dao, which can both mean to say or express something, and we had it paired with san and si to say everything. So speaking about everything and now it's to lose everything, right? Yeah, so if you lose this and you lose that, mm. you're basically extremely forgetful and scatterbrained. Ah, okay. <laughs> Where's everything? I forget everything. Okay. So I can say, 他常常丢三辣四. Are you ready, Tom? What is going on here? Well, I'm trying to practice these characters that you gave me. Oh my god, all this on paper? Did you not download the Chinese Pod writing app? Go to ChinesePod.com forward slash app and check out the new Chinese Pod writing app. Practice writing Chinese characters wherever, whenever. The new writing app, only at ChinesePod.com. Save trees, get smart. 忘记带东西. Uh, so he's often very scatterbrained and he forgets everything <laughs> or forgets things. Forgets this and that. Mm. Okay, or I can also say, 他是个丢三辣四的人. Oh, same here again. We use the cheng yu as an adjective paired together with de. So it's like, what kind of person? A person that is scatterbrained. Exactly. So we use this to describe people in general, but can we describe like people who forget things because of their age as well? Yeah, sure. So for example, I can say, 奶奶老了,做事常常丢三辣四. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, that's the problem for my grandmother. She's getting old and she forgets, like when she has to go shopping or something, she forgets all those little things that she has to do. Or, mm. Yeah, so in this case, if 做事, you're trying to accomplish something, like a task, and you're forgetful, maybe you forgot the keys, or mm. you didn't lock the door, or you were going to cook a stew, but you forgot the carrots. So it's like missing out on something when you're doing a certain task. Okay, I guess that could work for work environments as well, right? Yeah. If you have like a certain process that you have to or should do, but you're leaving out some steps and then you... For example, you could say, 他工作常常丢三辣四. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he would have a bad reputation with his boss, basically. Today you guys have learned chen yu that are related to the words for three and four, san and si, and those numbers can represent 
people in general or everything or this and that. So we have learned how to say that something is not normal, not like everything or very dubious and shady. A person can be 不三不四. Mm -hmm. And we have learned how to say that somebody is speaking about everything or gossiping about this and that. 说三道四. And after that we lost everything. So I can see there's a lot of warnings oh. for how you shouldn't behave or who you shouldn't be friends with. It's actually very common in Cheng Yu, right? Because you have, normally they represent some like moral standards, some advice to people. So that's where they come from. Exactly. So if you know any more Cheng Yu with San and Si, or you want to make some sentences, feel free to do so down below. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joy. And I'm Joe. See you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number 4283. So just go to www.chinesepod.com 4283 and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again? www.chinesepod.com/4283 Chinese pod, Chinese pod.